Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, August 17th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. It helps out the algorithm, guys. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up, 6.05 Saturday. Heading to Citizens Bank Park, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the Phillies hosting the Washington Nationals. Christopher Sanchez, the lefty on the hill for the Phils. Mackenzie Gore going for the Nationals in a battle of southpaws. Looks like nine being the total, minus $2. That's the Phillies as the home favorite. They come in, what, 21 games over 500. Also that dominated the Nationals really in this season series. This is game two of the series. The Phillies offense is hot. I mean, they won game one, 13 to three, a 10 run run differential there. They also got the 27 year old Dominican born pitcher, Christopher, or Christopher Sanchez on the hill. In the beginning of the season, I, I thought he was great. You know, he has been blown up two of the last three times out, uh, giving up 25 hits total in those three starts. But when you look at the four, really the last three starts, but really the last four starts, he faced Cleveland, Arizona. L.A. Dodgers and the New York Yankees. I mean, I don't have the rotation splits for all of the MLB pitchers going right now, but that's probably the hardest slate, you know, strength of schedule wise. So I don't want to diminish him too much. And he's up against Mackenzie Gore here. You know, the, the, the very well thought after, I guess, former prospect here. He really hasn't been great. I mean, 30 hits in his last four starts. He's averaging less than five innings per start. And he had six walks last time out. I don't want anything to do with betting on McKenzie Gore. I, I want to be, you know, getting on the Phillies in this matchup. Minus $2 is a little bit too rich for my blood. But I'll tell you this, the team total market isn't out yet. I like that to the over on the Phillies team total. That's what I'm going to be looking to bet on this. I like the Phillies minus the run, the run one run line, you know, not the minus one and a half because they're playing at home, but even more so guys for the show going to be on the Phillies team total over. If you're looking at this one, let me know in the comments below what number you got. I'll be out. I'll be in there throughout the day, chopping it up with you as well, but it's Phillies to score a bunch of runs over the nationals to start us off. 640 Eastern for the next matchup. We're into the Queen City, Kansas City Royals, Cincinnati Reds, Nick Lodolo, the lefty going for the big red machine. We get Michael Waka going for the Royals. Total of nine, minus 129. That's uh, the big red machine as the home favorite. And a big reason why Nick Lodolo on the hill, big, tall, lefty. Uh, he's been good. They've won uh, four straight games coming into this series, talking about the Reds. Lodolo has nine wins on the season. The first rounder out of TCU, 26 years old, sub four ERA and FIP. Kind of looking to bet on him. Um, now, the 29 cents is something to, to think about here because he's up against Michael Waka, the 33-year-old out of Texas A&M. The former Aggie also has nine wins on the season, a three and a half ERA, 99 Ks, and he's been Mr. Consistent. I mean, it's mostly one earned run given up, two earned runs maybe. The last time he actually gave up more than three earned runs in any start was May the 4th. I mean, may the fourth be with you. How long ago was that? This guy has been consistent as they get. Both lineups kind of struggle against the handiness of pitcher. The Reds bullpen's been good. Hey, I know it's a hitter's ballpark here, guys, but I think we get two solid starts. Total of nine, pretty hefty total here. I think this ends, you know, 4-3, something of that nature. I think we stay under nine in the Royals and the Reds matchup. We'll head to Arlington for the next one. Minnesota Twins. Texas Rangers, 7.05 Eastern start time. David Festa going for the Twins. We get uh, Nathan Eovaldi, the slated starter, at least projected here. It is undecided as I'm talking uh, the day before, but it does look like manager Bruce Bochy said he would start on Saturday. He had some oblique issues, but we are seeing a price even with undecided. It is minus 130. That's Texas is the home favorite, total of eight. If you haven't seen Festa pitch, for the Twins, 6'6", 24-year-old at a Seton Hall. Last four times out, he's been solid. He doesn't go too deep, but it kind of leads into the Twins' bullpen being very good. And he's up against Eovaldi here. You know, first off, the Rangers overall, we talked about it uh, on yesterday's show. This is not a team I'm looking to bet on right now. You know, rumors of dropping pitchers, dropping some of their best players. 
due to, uh, you know, money, saving some money down the stretch if they're not going to make the playoffs. I mean, business is business, but still, the team's 5-14, and 14, their last 19. They are not playing good baseball. I'm looking to go against the Rangers, and we get the Twins plus 115 in the overnights right now. Hey, I like the Twins here. Their offense has been good, good bullpen. Hey, plus price on the Twins over the Rangers. Two minutes later, 707 Eastern to be exact. It's the Bay Bridge Series in the Coliseum. The Oakland A's hosting the San Francisco Giants. It's Hayden Birdsong on the hill for the Giants versus uh, Osvaldo Vito going for the Athletics. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys, but I believe that's how you pronounce it. Eight in the hook being the total, minus 120. That's the Giants as the road favorite. Giants are 500 overall, but nine games under 500 at home for or on the road. Excuse me for so, they have struggled. Now, granted, this isn't you know far travel for them, but still, they are the uh, the away team. They got Birdsong on the hill. He started off the season great, but in his last two starts, 12 earned runs given up and just six total innings pitched in the last two. Kind of speaks to, you know, he's 22 years old, six round pick out of Eastern Illinois, not a sought after prospect. And he kind of came in, you know, surprising MLB hitters and being very good. Well, you know, in the last two, maybe the the secret's out and maybe the, the athletics have seen, you know, how MLB bats are kind of going against them and having some success. We'll look for that to happen again here in the 28 year old Dominican starter for the A's 95 miles per hour, solid numbers, sub four ERA and FIP six innings, zero earned runs last time out against the Blue Jays. So he's kind of riding a hot hand in a short sample size. A's have been playing better baseball overall when in four of five coming into the series Bay Bridge series. We're on the home dog plus 115 athletics over the Giants in the Coliseum. We'll head a mile high for the next one, San Diego Padres, Colorado Rockies, Dylan Cease on the hill for the Friars, Kyle Freeland, the Southpaw going for the Rocks. Total of 11, minus 195, near minus $2 here. That's the pods as the road favorite, 69 and 53, one of the hottest teams in baseball, 19 and 3 run. They got Cease on the hill. I mean, two starts in Coors Field for his career. I was surprised to see these stats, guys. 14 to 2 strikeout to walk ratio, a sub 600 team OPS against in Coors Field with a sub 0 0.90 whip. This, that's as good as I've seen for an away starter. I mean, this guy's been dominant a mile high. The elevation hasn't affected him. He's got 11 wins on the season, 181 strikeouts year to date. Man, Cease is a one way bet for me. And something here on Kyle Freeland, the Rockies starter. He's got a, you know, a 5-7 ERA. That's likely baked into the number. But his last time out, he admitted to having a blister on his throwing hand. And, you know, that could be a mindset thing. You know, him worrying about that. Overall, I'm not necessarily looking to go against Freeland. But, hey, that that just little tidbit there, that might get me on the, uh, the Padres. In fact, it will here. And add on the fact the Rockies, I mean, they're cold. Uh, they haven't been great against righties. Their bullpen has been blown up a bunch. So, guys, I think the way to get after this is the Padres run line. They win by two or more in blowout fashion, most likely. So a mile high, it's the Padres over the Rockies. One game left, but a reminder, if you could smash that like button, comment below. It does help out the algorithm. Uh, let me know your MLB bets, uh, where you agree, where you disagree. Premium picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. 9.38 Eastern time. This is going to end the Saturday show. Late night on the West Coast, Southern California. Griffin Canning in the uh, Anaheim Angels hosting the Atlanta Braves with Chris Sale on the hill. Braves minus 210 road favorites, total of eight. Braves now 64 and 57. Winners of three of four coming into this series. So they were, they were having a rough spot there, but it looked to be turning around at least a little bit. The Angels come into the series they, after getting swept by the Blue Jays. And they got Canning on the hill, 5.1 ERA and FIP. Blown up in two of his last three starts. His velocity has been down as well. I know the Braves lineup hasn't exactly been great shakes. But I think they get after Canning here. And Chris Sale, I mean, this guy is just the career he's been able to put together. The 35-year-old out of Florida Gulf Coast. 22 strikeouts, two walks in his last two starts. He's got a 2-6 ERA, a 2-1 FIP, 
He's a one-way bet for us only, and that's on the Atlanta Braves. Don't want to lay the two dollars, so we're gonna we're gonna ask him to win by two runs or more. So we're going run line favorites in each of the last two to end our Saturday night, guys. In recap, it's the Braves minus the run line. It's the Padres minus the run line. We got the Oakland A's plus one fifteen as the home dog over the Giants. We get the Twins also plus one fifteen. We're fading away on the Rangers. We get the Kansas City Royals, Cincinnati Reds under nine. There is reduced juice on that. And the Philadelphia Phillies team total over against the Washington Nationals. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond Saturday show here, guys. We'll be back. Well, we're taking Sunday off. We'll be back Monday morning. So come back and join us right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Smash that like button, comment below. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.